I spawned one of the top guys. I forget exactly what number he is. And diamonds are low. And I wasn't in the mood for failing a million times and having to buy more. So I deployed a troop health guardian and went with this from the front HRZCM attack that I copied from the top global player that I saw a replay of his. Anyway, here's how it works. So you smoke up to the very front right area. Um, GBE the left two rockets. And you're going to drop a couple critter, critter, blah, 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 critter boxes right as the smoke clears to distract. Um, and you want to be able to get down that shock launcher as soon as you can. Um without it just completely demolishing everything. The two shock launchers up front is risky because if they both start shooting your troops at once, um, there's a decent chance that that will kill your Zookas. Uh, so be careful with that. Critter box again to distract that mortar and rocket. Um, shock the shock blaster as you get up there because those things kill the critters and then your mortar shoot and it's just like it's better to have them all shocked as much as you can. I think I have the GB for one more shock here. Yep, there we go. Um, try to cover my medics at the end. Or maybe I did, maybe... No, it looks like I didn't. Um, get up here. You really... It's so hard to keep your troops alive as you turn this corner here. But try to get that shock blaster down with as many troops alive as you possibly can. Because you need them alive for the end of this attack. So get that shock blaster down. Then reflare to the very back corner. And... Smoke your troops to protect them. As you come around, you should have the GBE for a universal remote. Use that on one of the flamethrowers. Um, that'll buy you some time and will keep the flamethrowers distracted more so than if you just try to medkit, um, which isn't smart overall. Then you'll farm up enough eventually for a shock on that shock blaster once the universal remoted building goes down. Um, you need to get to that as soon as you possibly can. If you shock that machine gun, um, the passive critters will distract the shock launcher. That buys you a lot of time because it's just shooting nothing. Um, get that machine gun down and then go right for that shock blaster. Try to get that down before all your troops are dead. You can see how low my Zook account is now and I'm throwing um, the explosive whatever you call them critters <laughs> to try to buy me some time just as a distraction from that shock launcher. Finally, I'm able to get up enough for one more universal remote. That buys me enough time with everything distracted to be able to clear um, and take down the rest of this HQ. Really, really challenging base. I'm hoping his shock blasters will run out soon because this is not the easiest. Um, but I wanted to show you guys this replay because this is an attack that got me to another milestone in my push. I'll show it to you. Now, when I hit this one, I've had a couple since, but when I hit that base, it got me up above 1800 VP. I'm really pumped to get into the 1800s. There were a couple points along the way where I wasn't sure if that was actually going to happen, but I'm really happy to be there now. Um, and I'm going to keep going, see if I can get up to 1900 and 2000 later. So, oh, nice. He lost VP. Let me screenshot this. This is my first time at number 12. This guy below me was also at 1802, and I didn't get it when we tied, and I was sad about that. But now I'm up to 12. That's awesome. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy this. I'll keep you updated with the rest of this tribe as we go. But until then, my name's Ryan. This is the PSC Life. Happy booming.